Madawalinuk, the people of great and spiritual power, those who work with that which can be heard but not seen, magicians, witches. And when you look it up in our dictionaries, that's what it says. Madawalinuk, witches. And for me, this whole process of naming my record, this word is about reclaiming that term, taking it back and understanding that the magic is inherent in who we are. And coming together and sharing that with each other is what we're here to do. The music of Madawa Lenuk, I wanted it to be like an expansion of the sound world of the first record. So that a string quartet then becomes a full orchestra. Or a couple singers become a whole choir. And that to me felt like a really good way to zoom in and try to tell these hard stories in a beautiful way. This record felt like a risk too. It's the first time I'm releasing music in English and that feels uh, exposing, kind of communicating to your audience in a different way. This record is an exploration of healing through collectivity and the importance of singing with each other. I think about that in my own life and how whether it's indigenous community or queer community has lifted me up at different points throughout my life and these queer beings that are so precious and so sacred and carry so much wisdom and, and that for a long time our societies have, have not been listening to that wisdom and to find and re-engage with that balance and the sacredness of queer people and what we offer to the human community. That's what this record is about.